All right, I'll start this first with the demo and then I'll follow it up with a tutorial. Um, to get started, all you need is any character rigged in Mixamo. This can be their characters, it can be your characters. You just need it in the T-Pose, you know, no animation applied. You'll download that. Um, I like to bring it into Blender and then export from Blender as a GLB file, so I've already done that. Um, over in Godot, you'll drag and drop in that character. And then you'll also need from the GitHub page the Mixamo bone library for remapping the bones, as well as whatever libraries you're interested in. So I'll drag and drop those in. Alright, then all you need to do is double click your character model, click on the skeleton, bone remap, quick load, the Mixamo bone map from the GitHub page, re import, it'll drag that character into your scene. I'll right click and make local so I can see the animation player. And then down here you'll see there's no animation, they only have the T pose. You'll click animation, manage animations, load library, and then select whatever libraries you grab from the GitHub page. So I've got Brute, I've got Stealth, I've got Torch. I'll bring in Brute. And then immediately he is mapped with all the character animations from that Brute. Some of them are looped, some of them are not. If they're looped, I hopefully already have them set up to loop for you. But those are all there. And if you grabbed multiple libraries, you can go ahead and load you know, additional ones. Like now I've got the Torch, uh, the Brute library up at the top. If I keep scrolling down, you'll see the Torch library down below. So I've got all these animations already in Godot, ready to go. You don't have to worry about a thing. All right, now onto the tutorial. Okay, welcome to the Godot for Mixamo animation library tutorial. Um, I'm going to take you through the process of applying libraries of Mixamo animations on your character rather than doing it one by one or having to bake them in, in Blender. This will let us immediately in Godot apply libraries worth of animations. You'll need Godot uh, Alpha or Beta, one of the later versions of the Alpha or the Beta or newer, uh, because you need the bone retargeting feature. A big shout out to Mitch at Fine Point CGI for making this Mixamo bone map. I was able to use that bone map to create these libraries for you. I'll take you through the process of mapping your own character and then uh, hopefully save you a lot of time. Over in Blender, I've got a character here, character messages, uh, me meshes and materials. Um, I'll export this character out so I can bring him into Mixamo. Export as FBX. Um, I will keep the textures, so I'll change this to copy and include the textures. I'll save that to the desktop. I'll just leave it there. I'll change, it to, whoop, change that to Godot Hunter. Export. And then in Mixamo, I'll upload character, select character, desktop, and Godot Hunter. Alright, came in with the textures. Map the chin, map the wrists, elbow, knees. Just going quick so I can show you the actual important stuff. Leaving it at the full skeleton. Next. Alright, came in, got rigged. You can see him moving around normally. Now we don't need any animations. We don't need to do anything further. We're just going to download them straight. T-Pose FBX. It's going to download Hunter Godot FBX to my downloads folder. Um, next, I like to use uh, GLTF files. So I'm actually going to uh, open a new Blender scene. Import FBX downloads. Grab that Hunter. Uh, came in with the textures just fine. Export again, GLB, uh, I'll keep all that the same. We'll throw him also on the desktop. Oh, here's a former version. I'll just export on top of that. All right, we're ready to go over to Godot. Now in Godot, we're gonna need a few things from the GitHub page. You're gonna need the bone map um, and whatever animation libraries you're interested in applying to your character. So let's bounce over there. I'll bring in my character. I'll bring in the bone map, and I'll bring in a few libraries. Let's do the archer and the zombie. All right, step one. We will double click our character, our GLB file, select their skeleton. Under retarget bone map, I will click on quick load and grab the Mixamo bone map from the GitHub page. Re-import. I can then bring my character into the scene they're really far away, so I'll fix their transform. 
All right, bring the character to the scene. I'll right click and make them local so that we can see the animation player. And currently you can see they have only one animation, the T-Pose. I'll click Animation, Manage Animations, Load Library, and then select you know, my Archer Library, Zombie Library, or whatever library you grabbed from the Mixamo page. I'll grab the Archer, Open, OK. And you'll see now they have their T-Pose and all the Archer Libraries packed in there. So we've got you know Drawing Arrow, ready to go. And I've already set up most of these with the loops. I hope I didn't miss any, but you know, walk is already set to loop, die is a one shot, you know, strafing is obviously going to be a loop as well. So those should all be taken care of for you. Now, if I want to mix and match, because I currently have only added the Archer library, I'll click animations, manage library, load library, let's bring in the zombie library. Now, when I click these animations, you'll see Archer at the top here, Archer library. And if I scroll down far enough, you'll see Zombie Library and all the zombie, zombie animations. So we've got all of those available as well. Zombies kicking and zombies running, whatever we want. And then you can open the Manage Library section and mix and match. If you don't need all these animations and it's making your project too heavy, just go ahead and click these uh, delete buttons off on the side and you can custom build your own library. Same if in Blender you created your own animations or your specific shape key changes and whatever that you want to bring in as well. Those will all be uh, their own section. These libraries will stay separate. Yeah, hopefully that saves you a lot of time. And uh, I've currently made the Archer, the Brute, that was the axe-wielding character, Great Sword, Knight, Soldier Stealth, Thriller Dance, Torch, and Zombie. I will probably make a few more um, um, open to request if people want me to grab specific ones in a, into a specific pack. Um, or if you make a really cool set of animations, like a robot pack or something, all it has to be is mapped to the, uh, the Y-Bot and the normal Mixamo skeleton, and we can, we can create libraries and add more to this so that everyone can use them. If you liked this and you want to support me, um, I'm not actually a YouTuber, I'm a musician. Well, I'm a, a programmer for work, a musician on the side, and I do game dev on the side. So if you want to support me, throw some love my way, go check out my music. I'm on Bandcamp, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, really anywhere you stream music. The band is Bones in the Walls. It's all made on Ubuntu Studio using our doer, the, uh, the DAW. That's a great audio program if you need to make uh, music for your games or, or sound effects for your games. Um, so yeah, if you want to show, so show your support, go listen to my music, toss some of it into some playlists that you like. Maybe I could make some music for your games. Who knows? All right, thanks everybody. Bye.